So I want to talk a little bit about hate and what hate represents, what it exacerbates, and what it creates within us if we harbor it without healing and eventually letting go. You see, when we hate other people, it's really not about them deserving hate because that would be the assumption that if you hate them, then you're hurting them. When the reality is that hatred hurts yourself. It's like drinking poison to kill your enemy or like holding hot coal in your hands and just waiting for the chance to hurl it at someone. You're hurting yourself while trying to destroy your enemy. You see, hatred eats away at your heart and mind and worrying about being hated wastes your time and energy because that's exactly what your adversaries want for you. They want you to waste your time and energy worrying about if they hate you. You need to live for yourself and do what's good for you. Do what makes you happy. Do what helps you to achieve your goals. Why sit around hating and worrying about people hating you when you could actually be living your life and accomplishing your own success stories, writing your own history, leaving your own little piece of legacy on this earth before you pass? Because life can be very short for some and long for others. It doesn't matter what someone else deserves in the end. What we need to be focused on first and foremost and the most is what we deserve. And then strive for that. If we truly feel that we deserve good things in life, then that's what we should be striving for. If we surround ourselves with a certain type of energy and think that we're going to get a completely different energy than what we're surrounding ourselves with, It don't work that way. Let's keep it real and let's know that what we put out is what we're going to get back. We need to be conscious and aware and um, accepting of what our feelings are. And then being willing and open to changing them if they're not benefiting us in any way. It takes humility to do that. And pride is often the predecessor of the fall if we are too prideful and we let our we let that get in the way of, of um, doing the right thing or doing what's best. So hatred breeds contempt and contempt breeds hatred and it's just a vicious cycle. Where does it end? How long do you hate? At what point do you transfer that energy into something a little bit more productive and a little bit more um, beneficial? to your life hatred takes up so much energy it takes up time precious time and what's the point and what if you're hating someone who just really is not even giving you an ounce of their energy then what let's think about what your priorities are and your goals are in life and if it's on hating other people and trolling other people constantly then that really just makes you a sad individual because that really means that you don't have a lot going on in your life and or you're just taking out your your own personal issues your own personal sadness your own personal struggles and challenges on on other people and while that is understandable why you might do something like that what it isn't is healthy or helpful Yeah. Where you from, nigga? Everything on, y'all did. What it is? It been done. Been done my true game, my shoe game. What? What? You can't touch this shit.